Hello, 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 all my viewers and my subscribers. Welcome again back to Life with Jennifer JM. I'm your girl, Auntie Chen. And how are you doing, my viewers, my friends, and my subscribers? And if it's the first time you're on this channel, welcome. Well, in this video, we'll be looking at two things today. And it's still pertaining to the Philip Paulwell Baby Mother 1 and 2 saga, which will not go away anytime soon. But in this latest development, that the Ip Man had confessed and is charged and will be sentencing on the 15th of November. The court says they will not release the it man's name and in my previous video I spoke about it but sometime I realized that I think a lot of folks believe that all Jamaicans have a short memory now if I was the family of the deceased just saying just get me carefully and I wanted to retaliate because in order for them not to release in the name, it is saying that they are protecting the person's identity. How can you protect one's identity when it was already in the public domain? And I've read some of the comments from the previous video that Auntie Jen, where you want to know my name from? You think people them are going to just make people know your name? No, me know the name. I know the name. Yes, Auntie Jen knows the name. Did you remember that the Mr. Fitz Bailey came out and spoke their names and their addresses? All right, so let me take you into this clip and then I'll come right back. Listen to this. The investigation into the disappearance of Tashina Patterson and her 10-month-old child, Saraya Paulwell, from their homes at 3 Gilmore Drive, Kingston 20, on Saturday, September 9, 2023, I wish to inform the public that we are now satisfied by the overwhelming evidence secured that both Tashina Patterson and her 10-month-old baby. So there you have Mr. Fitz Bailey saying, telling the public that Leoda and her cousin Balfour was charged with the the M word. So we, we don't so listen to this now. So we know that Leoda and her cousin are out of that now. So they are not she wouldn't be the it woman and her cousin is not the it man if you understand what i'm saying here because she would be the one who organized it so she would be the organizer and then our cousin would be the co-organizer so they are out of it now listen to this also what mr fitz bailey has to say it's one of the most painful investigation for the team since recent times However, the team of investigators continue to be professional and remain focused. Charges in relation to the investigations have been preferred as follows. Leoda Vanessa Bradshaw, 34 years old, petty officer in the U.S. Navy. She was charged with two counts of conspiracy to kidnapping, two counts of kidnapping, Roland Lloyd Balfour, 30 years old, assistant graphic designer of 67 Commission Road, Kingston 2. He was charged with two counts of conspiracy to So do you see um, that Leoda and her cousin is clearly out of that, right? According to what Mr. Fitz Bailey says. Now listen to him 
calling the other person's name and their addresses. Listen to this. Conspiracy to kidnapping, misprison of felon. Roshane Miller, 29 years old, AC technician of 1B Camperdown Road, Kingston 16. He was charged with two counts of conspiracy to kidnapping and misprison of felon. Richard Brown, O.C. Richie, O.C. Gurla, 31 years old, graphic designer of 2 Camden Road, Kingston 16. He was charged with two counts of conspiracy to kidnapping and two counts of kidnapping. The DPP has obtained a voluntary bill and the case will be taken directly to the Supreme Court. The, the investigation... The investigation. So there you have Mr. Fritz Bailey saying, giving the names and the address of the other two persons. Remember, it's according to them, it's four persons. One person is still on the loose, right? So it would not be that person who is on the loose. So now it's between these two persons. It is between these two persons and we have their names and we have their address. So it's an easy match to work out. It's an easy match to work out. My viewers and my subscribers, are you understanding what I'm saying here? So sometimes I really sit down and I listen to oh, authority people in authority. Angle situation and expect that everybody is sitting down and have no sense. Come on. Yeah, and for those of you who are saying, what you want to know them name for? You wasn't listening. You were not listening. I know their names. Richard Brown, O.C. Richie. I then call him Gorilla and he's 31 years old. I know his name. His address is 2 Captain Road, Kingston 16. I know his name. And he could be and also Roshan Miller is from 1B Camperdown Road Kingston 16 we know their names Mr. Bailey came out and gave their names and address so when I came out now and I said so why are they hiding the names now? It's only to be decided by these two, you know. Brown or Miller, you know. And as I said in my opening statement, if I was the family and I want to do something, since nobody not tell me who exactly, me, me who nobody want to, me not guess I spell, you know. I would not guess I spell, if you understand what I'm saying. Me Ghana 2 Captain Road, Kingston 16. I have me Ghana 1B Camperdown Road, Kingston 16. They gave their names. They gave their addresses. So it's nothing wrong now to just come and say, well, the it man is Richard Brown or the it man is Russian Miller. Because we don't know their name and know their addresses. And either way, if we were aggressors, and all of these people involved. We, ne we, just, we just go find them. So, to those who are saying, we want to know the name. We know the names. And it's out of these two. So you just have to you know, know which one. So now we know the it means them, right? So one of the questions now is which one is the whistleblower? Which one of these two are the whistleblower? That's the question. Men I need to know which one definitely. Are out of these two. It's Miller. Or Brown. So, my viewers, I'm a subscriber. Now we can discuss. We can keep a dialogue now. And we can, in the comment, I want you to put. Which one of these do you think? It's the whistleblower. Which one of these do you think? Who is the whistleblower? Continue. My viewers and my subscriber. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, Life with Jennifer, 
hit that subscription button turn on your notification bell so when I go live or update or upload a video you'll be the first to be notified and I will catch you again in another video bye